All right, so welcome to on my YouTube channel to the Zero X Zero Two GI task. Um, if today is your first time of coming across my video, kindly subscribe, like, and then put a comment. Especially if you have a question, put a comment, and um, I'll try the best I can to reply to your yeah, your comments as much as possible. All right, please subscribe, subscribe because. We are going to lead this channel throughout your journey in ALS. Very important. Okay, so let's go on with our task for today. We are looking at the 0 x 0 2 VI task. In our last task, I told us when we're doing the MS task, I told us that we have two major test editors in our unit operating system, which is the MS and VI. It's, you can call it VI or VIM. All right, it's the same VI or VIM test editor. Now, like I told us last time, I prefer the VI test editor because I feel like it's simpler and it's straight to the point. It's easier to manipulate, so I prefer the VI test editor. Now, the reason for this tax is so that you are able to know how to use the VI text editor as you progress in your ALS journey. All right. Now, so for today's task, I'm going to walk us through the task and I'll make sure I try the best I can to finish the task with us 100%. First, we'll look at, try to look at your materials, make sure you go through your materials, the basic VI commands, go through it and you see all the commands you will need. Um, you don't need to memorize all these commands. As you keep working with VI, you will begin to fall in love with some of these commands and those are the commands you will basically be using. You know, so you don't need to memorize and with time you get to know this command at the tip of your fingers. All right, so just know the basic commands for now and work with them for now, okay? So let's go on with our task. Um, so for our quiz question, we'll go to that quiz question first and then we'll come back to do the task, the main task. So let's go to our quiz question. Now, the first question says, how do you enter command mode in VI? To enter command mode, you simply press the escape key. Now, before then, let me just explain what this means. So we have two basic modes in VI. We have the command mode, and then we have the insert mode. So the command mode is basically when you press the escape key, you are in the command mode. So whatever you press at that time is giving the editor command to do something. But when you are in the insert mode, the insert mode is like the test mode. Anything you type in the insert mode, the editor considers it as a test. So it's not acting to any command, it's a test to the editor. So for you to move from the command mode to the insert mode, you are going to be using your eye. When you press the key I in your keyboard, you are in the insert mode. When you press the escape key, you are in the command mode. So to enter the command mode, you use the escape key. To enter the insert mode, you use the insert, you use the key I in your keyboard to enter the insert key. And I start mode. All right, so let's go on. So, how do you enter the command mode? Like I explained, you use the escape key to enter the command mode. Uh, question one VI is included with almost every unit distribution system. Like I said before, yes, it's true. Every unit distribution system comes with MS and VI pre installed. How do you enter the insert mode? I just explained this so you should know already. You use I to enter the insert mode. Once you press the I in your keyboard, you are in the insert mode. How do you quit the I? To quit the I, you use the exclamation um, column Q, and then um, you use the return column Q, return to quit, all right? Now there are um, three ways to quit the I. Now to quit, you use um, um, column Q, and then less than sign, return, and greater than sign. And then to quit without saving, you use column Q and the exclamation mark. And to quit and save, you use column WQ. Column WQ. All right, so like I said, don't you memorize these things. You will start, once you start using them, you just get used to this. So that is it for the quiz. Let's go ahead to look at our task. So for our task, they say create 
you are answered directly. So the first thing, just like in our last tax, the first question is just to create our directory and then check your code. So how do we do that? Now, first, remember that before you create your directory, always you need to CD into your root folder. And how do you CD into your root folder? You type in CD, which is change directory, and then forward slash root, enter, and then you'll be in your root folder. Once you're in your root folder, what you need to do now is to now make a new directory, which is mkdi arrow, followed by the directory name, and that is done. So that's the first thing you need to do for tax arrow is to first cd into your root folder, which is forward slash root, this, forward slash root, and then once you're in your root folder, you can then uh, create your folder using the mkdi arrow command with the folder name, which is 0x02 underscore bi, and then enter to create this folder. And once that is done, check your code if you are, you are done with your first question. So let's go ahead and get our sandbox. We use the web term. So we are in our sandbox. Now, you, like I say, you have to cd to your root folder for slash root and enter. Once you enter, you're already in your root folder. And then once you're in your root folder, the next thing you need to do is to mkdi arrow and then the name of the file, which is 0x02 um, underscore vi. So let's get this out so that we're able to work with this like this. All right, I always like to have it here so that we don't get back up. So it's all right. So this is the name of the folder, mkdi uh, arrow, then the model folder, and then enter. So if you ls, you see that we should have this folder there. Ooh, we have so many. That's what I said. So let's just go. Okay, so this is a folder here. This is a folder. So let's just seed into the folder already because for our question too, we need to seed into this folder. So 0 2 underscore vi. So now we're in a vi folder. Let me clear this. All right, so let's check our code for question zero. Check our code, and we should be good to go. So that is it, congratulations. So let's go to the next. Let's go to the next. So the next question now, we have to CD into our VI, which you already did. So CD into our file, our folder, sorry. 0x02 vi. So you see that we have 0x02 vi folder. And then what is the question? The question says that what is the command to insert test before the cursor? What is the command to insert test before the cursor? You can validate if the format of your answer is correct by displaying the file information. All right. Now, the command to do that is I, like I said before, I. I just I, that is the command now. How do we go about this? First, we need to create our file. Remember, just like what we did. So this is our file. The name of our file is insert, inserting. So I'm going to create our file, inserting, and then we'll now type in the command used to insert in, um, um, the text before the cursor inside our file, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So first, we we'll use the touch command, touch, and then the name of the file, which is inserting. All right, inserting, inserting, enter. So ls to see that we have our file there inserting. Now for us to type in, let's use the echo command. We we'll use echo, then single quote i, and then space greater than sign, and then we we'll now type our our file, which is inserting, inserting, enter. So ls, we have our inserting, and then cut inserting. And here we have our i there. So that simply, that is what all you need to do. So echo, single quote, i, single quote, and to close the i, space, Greater than sign space, the name of the file, which is a certain. And once that is done, you can go ahead and check your code. You should be good to go. Okay, let's go ahead to the next 
Question the left question is cutting. Question two is cutting. It says, What is the command to delete and cut the current file? Write the answer in the file into the file. All right. So I forgot you can always do this. Just use this command ls and the name of the file to have to validate your code like this. All right. So let's just go ahead and do that before we do the next question. Let's go ahead and do that. So ls space um I think L, then the name of the file, which is in certain for us to validate our code, just like what we have here. All right. So let's go ahead. Our next question is cutting. Now, for this question, we're going to use the VI command and see how it works. Now, for the VI command, we don't need to use touch to write the name of the file first. All we need to do is to type in VI space the name of the file. And here they are, we are asked to um what is the command to delete and cut the current line? What is the command to delete and cut the current line? That command is dd. So what we're going to do is vi, then define the which is cutting. All right, and then enter. Now, once we click enter, we are in our vi text editor. Now, how do we now work here? Right now, we are in the command mode. All right, so anything we type right now, the uh, operating system or the terminal is going to pick it, the editor is going to pick it as a command. All right, but for us to enter the insert mode to be able to write a test, which is the GD we want to write, we have to type I in our keyboard. So once I click on I now, it will not enter the insert mode. You see, it's saying insert. If I, if I tap escape now, they see that insert is not showing because it's not in command mode. So anything I type now is in command mode. It will take it as a command. But if I type I now, it will enter the insert mode. And once you enter the insert mode, we type in my test, it takes that as a test, no longer as a command. So now what do we do? We type in GG, which is the command that is used to cut the line, all right? And then we will now, put, we will now close this, save it. And how do we do that? We now click on escape, click on escape, then hold down your shift key and click on command and, and column. You see that we have column there and then WQ. Now, like I said before, column WQ is to save and exit, to save and exit. So now we're going to exit by um, tapping our enter key. Once you click on enter key, automatically we exit. So if we cut our file now, which is cutting, you should see that we have DD inside our file. All right. So that is how to use the VI mode. Like I said, you're going to enjoy VI with time. You enjoy using VI. All right. Let's go ahead. So once that is done, don't forget to list your file. And um, once you list your file, go ahead to check your code and you should be good to go. All right, I will not be checking this code over and over again because I know that we are correct. All you need to do is just click on check code. Once it checks for you, automatically it will mark done for you and then you move to the next question. Let's go ahead to question three. And the question is, let me clear our terminal. The question is, uh, what is the command to paste the lines in the buffer in the test after the current line? All right, so that command is simply P. You see why VI is very interesting. You know, for MS, it is a control X, control X, control S, control C, control X. But you see that VI is simple P. Once you tap P, automatically you are pasting your line, okay, your test, sorry, after the line. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we're just still going to use the VI command, but if you enjoy using the echo command, go ahead and use the echo command, but I will want us to use the VI command. So VI space the name of the file and the name of the file is pasting. So pasting and then tap enter. And then once you're in enter, what do you do? You tap in your I key to enter the insert mode and then simply type P, which is a command for pasting. Press escape and then column WQ to save and exit. And that is done. All right, that is simply how to answer this question. And then what do we do next? We type in ls, I think l, then pasting to list, and you are good to go. 
and then check your code, check your code, you are good to go. The next question says, what is the command to undo what you just did? So what is the command to undo VI, and then the name of the file which is undoing? Enter and type, don't forget, always type in your I key to enter the insert mode before you start type, typing in your test. And then the command to undo is just you, you to undo. Once you type your you, what else do you do? Type the escape key to come back to command mode and then colon W Q. Enter, save, and exit, and exit. All right, so what do you do next? To so list ls l and the name of the file which is undoing, and then enter. All right, great. Hope you're having fun, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. That is the only way to help us, help the channel grow and help us as we um, give you this knowledge for free. Okay. Now let's go to the next question, which is exiting. What is the command? What is the command to quit VI even though latest changes have not been saved for this VI call? So I told us before that um, there is a command to exit, to, to exit VI without saving, which is colon Q and then exclamation mark. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, we can do that using the VI, we can do that using the echo command, like I keep saying, but I prefer that you start using the VI so that you get used to it. So I'll just do VI. Now, like I say, you don't need to do type um, and uh, use touch. So even if it's not like it's wrong, it's not wrong, you can use the touch command and then type the file name. So let's just do it that with touch the file name, which is exiting, all right, which is exiting, and then you enter, all right. Now, if you ls, you see that you have exiting there, okay? So now, for you to now write inside the file, you can then do vi, and then the file name exiting, then enter, which is a long way. So the, 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 the fastest way to do that is just to type vi and the file name, Automatically, VI will create that file for you, and then you type inside the file, which makes more sense. And then it's faster for you to work with. Okay, so now let's go ahead, type in I to enter the insert mode, and then type in your command. Like I say, it's colon Q and then exclamation mark. So once that is done, tap your escape key and then colon WQ to save and exit. All right, then LS. Don't forget this, and then the name of the file which is exiting, and then there you go. All right, so let's go to the next question. The next question is uh, um, What is the command to move the cursor to the start of the current line? To the start of the current line. So this is going to use zero and zero. Let's see how to write that. So let's go to VI. Let's go to VI and then the name of the file, which is beginning, the beginning underscore of underscore the underscore line. So that's the name of the file, then enter. So tap I to enter the insert mode and then zero space open bracket. Zero space open bracket type zero and close your brackets escape save and exit. All right, so list write that list. All right, so that is it for that question. And then the last question, question seven says end of the line. What is the command? To move the cursor to the end of the line. Okay, so let's do that. The command is the dollar sign. So we we'll just use, so we can use, let's use echo for this. So echo, single quote, dollar sign. Remember, dollar sign. Uh, dollar sign, then space, 
greater than sign space the name of the file and the name of the file is word end of the line so end of the line end of the line all right so once that is done kindly list end of the line and then just go ahead check your code check your code and once you check your code you should be done with this tax so this is the last this is the last um the last task or the last question for this task okay so i believe that we are getting familiar with all these things already all right so thank you for joining thank you for staying to the end please don't forget to subscribe um, just to help our channel grow to be able to give you more of this all right and then if this has helped you just simply put in uh, a comment there to encourage me. God bless you.